What's going on YouTube? What's going on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms? It's your boy Big Pat back with Big Pat Sports Talk. I got a little Giants talk today. And the subject today, man, I'm getting a little tired of the disrespect for Mr. Joe Judge and my New York Giants. Got another crazy analyst putting up some absurd stuff. I'm going to get into you let you know why he's crazy. So tune in and let's get into it. What's going on, Giants fans? Welcome back. This is Big Pat Sports Talk. You know, I'm going to talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. Hey, man, Big Blue Nation, we got more disrespect for our team, for our leader, for our coach. We all love him, Mr. Joe Judge. The amount of disrespect this guy's gotten since he's been Named coach of the New York Giants has been absolutely absurd. And here we got another article from Mr. Whoever this guy is from NBC Sports, Mr. Patrick Daugherty. Recently has made remarks saying that out of 25 NFL head coaches, including first-year coaches, he has Joe Judge shy of dead last as far as good coaches. Out of the 25 available that are not first-year coaches, he has Joe Judge ranked 23. <laughs> he has Joe Judge ranked 23 out of 25 possible ranked coaches. Uh, with his comparison, not stating the first-year coaches with their new teams this year. 23rd out of 25. So basically, he's saying Joe Judge is one of the worst coaches in the league. Bottom half. One of the worst. A coach that turned the whole culture around into a team has them playing like they're winners. Before Joe Judge got here, we were quitters. There was no accountability. There was really no hope, to be honest with you. But he had he he turned this franchise around with his first press conference. First press conference he turned it around. Gave us hope. Gave us accountability. Brought teachers, brought a, a amazing coaching staff with him. Yes, we were six and ten, but we were absolutely terrible before he got here. And he went six and ten with a roster that nobody in the league really. Let's be honest, they laughed at us. We were supposed to be an easy win for just about every team we faced last year, and we only got blew out what twice, once in the beginning of the year, once at the end of the year. Beat the Seattle Seahawks team who was fighting for number one in the division with our backup quarterback. Turn around an offensive line that was absolutely in shambles, but turned them into one of the best run blocking offensive lines down the stretch. We had Wayne Gattleman looking like a top performer. With a second year quarterback in his second system. No offseason. No way to train to get to know the playbook. No weapons. Turn a defense that just totally gave up last year to one of the top defenses in the league we were actually feared feared by opponents last year but he's the 23rd ranked coach 
out of 25 available coaches that meet the criteria of this Mr. Patrick Darty. I don't know who this guy is. I don't care who he is. He's an idiot. You got Joe Judge ranked 23rd out of 25. The, the, the amount of disrespect. But let's get into his comments. He says, Joe Judge ranked 23rd, career record 6-10. He's only had one year. He says, Joe Judge began his career with bits. No names on jerseys, etc. He did that because... Everybody has to fight for a spot on this team. Nobody was given anything on this team. And that's why this team really came together because they knew they had to work for what they got. Accountability is key when you're being the leader among men. But obviously this guy doesn't know that, but let's go on. It made him an easy punchline for, for a slumping organization. Yes, it did. He was a young coach. He was a special teams coordinator under Bill Belichick when he came here. But Bill, Bill Belichick vouched for him. Nick Saban vouched for him. He's in a film room. He was in a room with those guys learning, taking down notes, learning how to be a leader. That's why he got the job. But, okay, let's go on. He said things started off equally poorly during the regular season where JoJo Squad produced an 0-5 and 1-7 and records. Yes, we started off very poor. We were a brand new team. Obviously, he saw things in Mark Colombo that he didn't like, and he got him up out of there. Obviously, the defense was playing outstanding in the beginning, but the offense couldn't produce because they had no weapons. Saquon Barkley got hurt in the beginning of the season. Daniel Jones is still developing. The offensive line was just starting to get to know each other. They were just starting to get to know the playbook. J Jason Garrett didn't open up the playbook because he knew he didn't have any weapons. And then we tried to use a tight end in Evan Ingram that's not supposed to be used like a Jason Wooden. He's a weapon. He's supposed to be used as a weapon. But let's go on. The second half was much better. With the G-Man closing 5-3 and three and coming up with the Nate Subfield cameo of winning their pathetic division. With exploding lead, with offense exploding lead wide, the Giants are a rare, rare bulwark for the other side of the ball, surrendering 94 fewer points than the year prior. But he's one of the worst coaches in the league. We started off 1 and 7, but finished off 5 and 3, and our three losses coming to the Cardinals, Browns, and Ravens. Almost three playoff contenders, but let's move on. That was the ninth best mark in football after three seasons of finish, finishing 23rd or worse. So, you're saying a man's one of the worst coaches in the league that turned around a defense that finished 23rd or worse three years straight. But when he comes his first year after bringing in Patrick Graham, his first year we, we were ranked top 10. First year ranked top 10. But he's one of the worst coaches in the league. I almost won a division, even though our division was very poor. I'll give you that. Still could have won a division. We won Evan Ingram catch from winning the division. Or a Pittsburgh Steelers team beating the uh, Washington football team when they were supposed to for winning the, the, the division. But let's move on. The problem was just offense, which showed zero second-year improvement under erratic starter Daniel Jones. The front office is throwing weapons at the issue, but it will fail to judge to make lemonade out of Jones' lemons. Judge can sometimes feel like a football guy periodically. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that you think Joe Judge is not authentic? That, that's, that's what you're saying. You're saying that Joe Judge is not authentic. Everything that he says is just putting on a, a period. He's trying to act like somebody. No, I think Joe Judge is Joe Judge. I believe he's getting great results. We were a team that people were talking about towards the end of the season. Usually the past three years, nobody talked about us, period. Yes, he's a young coach, but he came in. He's an old soul, man. He He's a grinder, man. And you mean to tell me that this guy who really changed this franchise, you he has you guys talking about the New York Giants 
more than you have in the past five years. And not for bad things. Not for bad things. Not for stupid things. Ain't mean to tell me that this guy, this guy, this guy is ranked 23rd out of 25 available coaches. Who are not for first year coach. He's ranked 23rd. He's ranked 23rd out of 25. That's what that's what you give us. Okay. Okay. But let's get back to the article. This is his words and quote. This is, these are his words. He says, Joe, Joe Judge can feel sometimes like a football guy period. He took the subfield thing just a little too personally. No, he didn't. He didn't take that personally. You play to win the game, man. You don't you don't do the, you don't do what the Eagles did last year. You don't do that crap. That was purpose purposefully done. Purposefully. And then like he just went off the whole deep end and just say da 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 to the Eagles like he was a fan. No, he 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 took a, a coach's approach. He said we play the game 60 minutes, no matter what what it is. No matter what the situation is, we play 60 minutes. We play hard. We play smart. We play to the bell, to the whistle. That's what he brings to us, man. He bring the, He's bringing a whole new mentality to this team. And he's ranked 23rd out of 25. 23rd out of 25. Are you serious? So you mean to tell me there were 22 better coaches than Joe Judge out there right now? For what he did with this franchise? Okay. All right. He took the subfield thing just a little too personally. Though he has a success though he has successfully told the line of instilling that hard nosed attitude while keeping his players respect. And that's ranked twenty third to you out of twenty five. A guy who commands a guy who commands respect, gets the best out of his players. Change the culture of an organization, has the respect of his front office, has a game plan for every team, has turned a, a defense that gave up every game into a top 10 ranked defense, has brought weapons to the offense to, com- to combine with the defense this year, has people talking about the New York Giants like we can be a good team, but we still got haters like this guy. And just bringing New York Giants football back in general? And you mean to tell me that this guy's ranked 23rd out of 25? You serious? Well, let's get back to the article. He took the Southfield thing just a little too personally, though he has successfully told the line of instilling a hard-nosed attitude while keeping his players' respect. There's a chance 2020, 2020 was Judge's ceiling. The fact it wasn't the floor campaign so many were expecting was a surprising, encouraging development. So, you're saying that what he did last year can be his peak with a roster that was not sexy at all. Let's be honest with you. The roster was not sexy at all. Some of the same players that we had last year, we had the year prior, and they were giving up. But he turned his team around. He turned his team around. Hands down. As the year progressed, you saw everybody else progress. We got better. We got absolutely better. My take on this, Mr. Whatever. What's what's this guy's name again? Let me find out what this guy's name again. Mr. Patrick Darty. Daughtery of NBC Sports. My take is you're a clown. You're an absolute clown, man. You're just here to bash somebody. You're just here to... I think you just don't like the Giants personally, and that's cool, but be realistic, bro. Be realistic. It, there's not 22 coaches better than Joe Judge. I would have accepted if you would have said he was in the top 10 or top 15, but almost dead last? Are you serious? Are you absolutely serious? 
what about Joe Judge last year, his season last year, would make you think that he's one of the worst coaches in the league? If he was one of the worst coaches in the league, why did why 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 did New York Giants franchise feel like it's turning around if he was one of the worst coaches in the league? You're an absolute dummy. You're an absolute dummy. But we need guys like you, man. Keep making articles like this, man. Keep giving us bullets and board material, man. Keep giving us this motivation that we need. Because you know when it, <laughs> you know when the Giants where the chips are down, when they count us down and out, guess what we do, man? We win chips. We win Super Bowls, man. You know? We win Super Bowls. That's what we do. Because of clowns like you. Clowns like you. That's why we win Super Bowls. We want to prove you wrong. That's what we do, man. And that article is just bonkers. I had to make a video on like that. I haven't made a video in a little while. But I had to bring a little bit of New York Giants news tonight, man. Because that was absolutely bonkers and ludicrous to me. You rank our coach 23 out of the 25 possible head coaches that are not first-year coaches. You ranked him 23rd. So there are 22 coaches that did a better job than Joe Judge last year. 22. Are you absolutely serious? I don't know if there was not one other coach in the league that could have did what Joe Judge did with them boys last year. I'm going to be real with you. So, that's my take on that, man. I had to show the championships, man, to show our honor, man. You know, we need to get our swag back, man. We need to get our swag back. New York Giants, man, G-Man, playoffs this year. Expect nothing less from my boys. Expect nothing less from them, man. But, Mr. Pat, you know, Pat Dothery or whatever your name is. Let me check what your name is one more time. Yeah, Patrick Daughtery. Screw you, man. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I know you're a Giants hater just by your little article. I just thought it was something a little interesting, man. You know, let me do my little report since you want to put out your little report. You're an NBC sports analyst. Uh, I know what, what I'm talking about. I know that Joe Judge is uh, ranked 23rd out of 25 possible coaches. He's terrible. Last year was his ceiling. Man, get out of here, bro. <laughs> How could that be his ceiling, man, with that roster that he had last year? But guess what? You're going to see a whole lot more this year. And I want to rub your little face in it, too. I want you to make an article saying Joe Judge is one of the best coaches in the league after this year, boy. You better believe it. But... Hit that bell, hit that like, subscribe. This is Big Passports Talk. You know I'm going to talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. And this was your Giants talk. Joe Judge, right? Oh, my God, boy. This guy. These, these, these people are absolutely ludicrous, man. I don't understand it. But, hey, it's my team. I'm going to represent my team. True Big Blue till I'm through. Check out the True Big Blue podcast on Mondays, 9:30 Eastern Time. And come talk to me, man. Come 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 talk to me. If you're a Giants fan, if you're an Eagles fan, Dallas fan, football team fan, Aaron Rodgers fan, Big Ben fan, Bears fan. It don't matter who you are, come talk to me. We ready for all y'all. Just saying, man. But till the next time, peace.